Hello everyone, welcome. In this uh, video, we're going to complete the task 4 which is manage active Azure AD guest users. So in the last three videos, we have uh, created two users. We created two dynamic groups, one assigned group, and we looked at how to do all of that. This and after that, we created a new AD directory instance which is a Contoso lab AD directory. In this exercise, in this portion of the task, we're going to manage AD users, guest users. So what we're going to do, we are not going to stay with the default Active Directory. We're going to go to the another Active Directory instance, create a couple more users, then we'll see how we can give permission to these users from a different Active Directory to access our instance of the Active Directory as a guest. Okay, so let's do that. So let's go to my default directory. This is my, I'm in the Active Directory. And if you go to the users blade, okay, you have those so many users and uh, these are the two users, AZ104-01A and AZ104-01A user one and user two we created as part of this default directory. So in this lab, we're actually not going to stay in the default directory. We created the Contoso lab directory. Okay. Here we do not have access to any subscription, nothing like that. It's just an empty directory for you. Here we're going to create the, some couple of new users. So again, I'm going to search for active directory. Okay. So let's go in there and go to users and there shouldn't be too many users in here at all. Uh, let's delete that user so that I am doing it from the very beginning. Okay. So I have created that user uh, from a previous lab and I don't want that to be here. So now I have uh, my original email who created this directory and I have nobody else. So let's, we can start the lab now. So from here, I'm going to create a new user. And just like the previous uh, uh, lab sections, I'm going to create the new user over here, uh, name and username, and then default password, you're going to get it from here. What happened? I think I clicked some some place. So it's Contos Lab new user. But the password is what is I have uh, copied. I gotta go back. I, I clicked on something that. Uh, Alright, now this is coming back. So here, hopefully I won't click too many wrong buttons. Now job title, let's click that, copy that one, put his job title as a system administrator and his department is IT. Okay, that's all I need for this one. And uh, hit create, it should create this user under a different directory. <coughs> Switch back to the default as your AD tenant. So now it's saying, okay, you have created. So let's go back to the default active directory. So we'll create over here, click. Uh, the other thing I need to do is copy this uh, user to over here just to make sure that I have the exact name and everything. Okay, that's the domain where I just created so that is good uh, let's go back to the lab okay once I'm there navigate back to the users and click on new guest user okay 
so now in let me where am I so I need to go back to my default directory so let's go back to my default directory in this directory let's go to my active directory in this active directory let's go to users and a new user and uh, I think this time I have to use the invite user blade new new guest user I don't have a new guest user button we have a new invite button let's say uh, create a new guest user with the following setting value name email usage lab IT name okay I'm just gonna try this one because the description doesn't match with exactly what uh, they're asking us to do so there is no new plus guest user here at all so I'm gonna use this as my name okay uh, email address is what we have already saved so I'm gonna get this okay invalid characters or syntax for email address enter a full email address so this is for some reason is not actually this is really not the email address of the user that's the user name um, so let's think about how to do this one I'm gonna pause and think just for a second all right my thinking is actually done so if you are doing the lab most likely you're gonna hit this portion and you won't make any progress and the reason you're not making any pro progress because this ID that we selected this is really not a true email address so most of the time this works because the AD domain is usually your your email address is how everything is set up it's the domain name then your user uh, your user address so here instead of following the direction I'm gonna make uh, some adjustments I'm gonna make this as uh, say I'm gonna you just use a different email address right here okay because this is a valid email address I'm still gonna keep this user name as this because of this is a valid user it's gonna say now everything is green Microsoft already knows who I am so it's picking up some stuff so just say test maybe uh, and then uh, then I'm gonna follow the rest of the instruction uh, as is usage location lab administrator IT so let's go back uh, usage location let's do United States uh, job title lab administrator and I am an IT and now I can hit the invite button to send the invitation to my email address okay so just remember that you're most likely going to stuck at that section of the lab if you are stuck just use any valid email address where you can really truly send an email so interesting thing if you notice now this user type since we use the invite option so this user type is now showing up as guest so this is a guest user not part of this azure active directory and here source is now showed up as invited user so now let's go back to the lab back on this lab click on the entry present the new created user account and click on groups so let's uh, look at that user so if I go back to the user and click on groups I don't have any groups assigned so let's see what they're saying click plus add membership and add the guest user account to IT lab administrator group so they're saying here let's add this guest user to our IT lab administrator group so select and now this guy is assigned to my IT lab administrator group 
now at this point this lab is done uh, here we have some cleanup resources thing where you can and you should most likely remove what you are doing in this lab just to make sure that you are not uh, piling up cost for things that you are not really using but, but for Active Directory I'm not too much worried about it and I still have a lot of Azure P2 license that I don't need to do this but I still show you what to do uh, if you want really want to clean up so navigate to the, the PIM blade and you can remove the license so PIM you always have to assign if you don't assign PIM to someone it's not gonna work so if you want to remove a PIM licenses so what I usually do I just search for PIM and it just shows up as you AD privilege identity access management I just go to this blade from here directly and let's see review access maybe you cannot do it from here you have to go to the license page from Active Directory yeah you probably have to go there so go to remove the license you have to go to the Azure Active Directory in here you gotta go down to the license okay that could be really an exam question too like how do you assign and remove license so let's just search for the license your licenses uh, go to all products and go to premium license and if you want to remove the license you just click on it okay and you just click on remove license okay that's how you you remove the license so we have done that in the Azure portal navigate to user all visit click the entry representing a user guest user account and delete so how do you delete a user we have already done that so uh, we can go to default user account uh, go back to remove the search terms you can go to a user blade and there are so many users I'm just gonna delete one of the user like user one and you can delete that user and you just say yes that's how you delete a user the option to bulk delete as well and we'll maybe cover that in a different lab for this lab we have done this step and he's saying repeat the same steps for other user accounts created I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna keep those accounts uh, and again for the groups as well you, it's simple just like you deleted your users you can go back to the groups and you just select any of the groups you don't have to go there you just uh, select the groups and hit the delete you can select multiple groups it will delete all of these groups that you have selected uh, so we have done that uh, for the active directory so let's uh, do that one next give me a second all right we are here this is we we can do we can delete some of the tenants so to do that uh, we'll go back to Azure Active Directory and uh, let's see what it's saying exactly uh, navigate the uh, button direct in the Azure portal to navigate to the all users blade click on the entry representing the user account and delete so it's telling you to go to the other directory and delete that particular user and uh, then it's asking us to delete this tenant completely so let's do that that I'm okay to do so from here let's go to uh, the other Contosho I think that's the uh, tenant that we just created and this one uh, home as your uh, active directory here and let's find that user that we have sent the invitation already users there's my user I'm gonna copy uh, select that and delete user select delete user I'm okay with that uh, go back to the contour lab and here click on delete tenant to delete the whole tenant so that again remember how to do that this could be an exam lab or exam question something like that so it's gonna give you all of that uh, sometimes you won't be able to delete you get permission to delete the Azure account so this one although the lab is saying that you go ahead and do that 
but I cannot. So you may be lucky in your environment, you may have this button available, but that's how you delete that group. Okay, let's see what else do we have. Sign up from Azure Portal and sign back. Navigate to Contrast Lab. Blade and click delete. So that is something that we couldn't do. So what we have done uh, in the last four series of videos, we have gone over the GitHub Lab section Lab 01 where manage Active Directory and Identities. We have completed all four tasks where we created uh, and configured Azure AD users then we have assigned dynamic membership we created a new Azure tenant and we have shown you how to deal with guest users uh, that's all for the video if you like it please uh, give me a like and subscribe and share it with friends good luck with the exam thank you